Hey guys, my name is Jason Gerald. I'm the founder and president of Next Gen Interactions. And I've been working with Sixth Sense. I'm actually on their advisory board. And I got the Tuscany demo from them. I've been playing around with the source code. And I created a little prototype game myself. So I'd like to show that to you. It uses the Razer Hydras, which is powered by the technology behind Sixth Sense, as well as the Oculus Rift, the legend, legendary head-mounted display. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put this on. And this game is called Trainwreck. And it takes place in a train yard. And I kind of, basically what I did is I put a, different types of interactions, different types of um, engaging scenarios together so that we can go in and try different things to find out what gets players engaged, what gets them excited. Some things may work, some things may not work. So I figured I'd just try a bunch of them. So we got robots, we got guns, we got explosions, we got all sorts of things coming up. So here we go. Okay, I'll start with a brief uh, calibration process. And I will start looking around. Here we have the world. You can see this is sort of a industrial type scene. I can look around. I can go over here. You can see there is a train track down there and some things going on. And we have this funky device over here that we'll check out in a minute. But first, let's uh, go ahead and stand up on this pile here and get up high and take a little bit of look around. You can see there's some fences going on. And the objective is to get into this warehouse over here. We need to find the way in. So what I'll do is I'll jump in this portal here take me to the next scene. This uh, starting location is just to get users accustomed, you know, nothing going on too complicated, so users can kind of, players can just look around, see what's going on. But when we want to go on to the next stage, step into this portal here. It's going to train us. Here we are. So now we are between some train tracks. You can see, I can kind of look off into the distance of the train tracks going off there. And move around and I'm just controlling things here with these controllers with the joysticks now I also have my hands you can see my those hands in front of me that are direct mappings of the Razer Hydra controllers got some objects here some pile of wood and a big sign it looks like it's about to fall over let's go take a look over here I can run I move a little bit quicker as I push one of the buttons I got mapped here and we can see some type of uh, oil canister or something on that uh, train. You can also look down. If you're afraid of heights, you get a really good sense of uh, stereo there and depth when you look down there. Okay, let's see uh, what's going on with this sign. You can see I'm kind of stuck. There's not a lot of ways to go, so we need to figure out how to get to this area over this way. So, let's see my hands again. What we can do is we can kind of push things around. So I can push that over. And there we go. We created a bridge. So now I can walk over here into the next phase of the game. There's where I came from. There's the original teleport with the fence that didn't allow me to come that way. And now I'm going to see what this is about. We have a uh, burning barrel. I haven't actually um, had a chance yet to light other things on fire, but I want to be able to, kind of like the Tuscany demo, stick a piece of wood in there and start all these crates and such on fire. However, that's not done yet. We can kind of push these things around, though. And so you can imagine rolling that into this, all this wooden objects here. Let's see what we've got over here. So somehow we need to get over there. But first, I got a little surprise here. This box, I can go ahead and take that off. I was supposed to be able to grab that. That's a little physics bug. I'm still working on um, some things. This is an absolute. Obviously, this isn't the first demo. It's a very early stage, so uh, still working some things out, but just getting things working. Look at that. What do we have there? An Uzi. Let's see what happens when I uh, fire. <laughs> That, huh? Now, the nice thing about this, of using this controller, using the mouse, is I can actually aim by bringing it up straight up to my sight and just sight down the barrel there. 
So for example, if I want to aim for something, I just line it up in a natural way. And oh, I got a little friend here. He came a little bit earlier than that. You can see some artifacts there I need to fix. Uh, so they just come at me every few seconds. This is quite different when you're immersed versus playing on a game because I really feel like these guys are really coming after me. Uh-oh. I think my screensaver just kicked in.